Hi, Mystery Recap here. Today, I'm going to explain an episode called Nosedive from the British science fiction series Black Mirror. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. The movie sets in a possible near-future scenario, in which society is dictated by a rating system ranging from 1 to 5 stars. In this kind of society, each individual gives a rating to one another, depending on their interactions. The social and economic position that one has in this kind of society, is determined by that person's overall rating, there are benefits for those with 4 and 5 overall ratings. On the other hand, those with 1 to 3 overall ratings, receive little to no benefits. For this reason, inside this society, one must always act positively, or else they will get a low score. The episode begins with a woman jogging in a suburban village, while holding a phone. The woman, Lacey Pound, is looking at her phone, inspecting what seems to be postings from other people, which she gives a rating of 5 stars each. After jogging, she looks at the bathroom mirror and practices all kinds of giggles and laughs. In her eyes, a faint light can be seen, indicating some sort of technology. Lacey lives with her brother Ryan, who has a lower approval rating than her and she is eager to move out. Lacey then leaves the house to have lunch. Outside, she buys a coffee with a cookie. As a response, she gives the clerk and everyone else around her a 5-star rating, everyone else in turn gives her a 5-star rating as well. Lacey can see each person's overall rating and information through her eyes, and other people can see it as well, including her overall rating of 4.2 stars and other information. She tries the cookie and coffee, which she did not like, and takes a picture of it afterwards, which she posted online, despite her not liking both. The picture receives multiple 5-star ratings, and her overall rating goes up slightly. She goes to work after that. In the elevator, she meets a woman that she frequently interacts with. However, the details of their conversation are based only on each other's posts and information, which they could access through their phones and eyes. After that, Lacey goes to her table to work. There, she meets a coworker whose overall rating is low, her coworker is giving off free smoothies to raise his rating. Upon taking one and drinking it, she receives low rating. She notices this and decides not to interact with him anymore. Soon, she learns that her house is being bought, so she decides to look for a new, more expensive house to live in. She goes to Pelican Cove in an exclusive neighborhood. It is an expensive place, but she learns that she needs to raise her 4.2 rating to 4.5 for a discount on this luxury apartment. She also learns from a consultant that she has to socialize with people outside her circle, particularly those of higher ratings, to raise her ratings quickly. She tries at first to act friendly to all people, but only receives average ratings. She then sees her coworker with a low rating, but he cannot enter the building this time because his low rating does not qualify. Lacey's co-worker asks for her help, but Lacey ignores him to preserve her rating. Later, Lacey uploads a photograph of Mr. Rags, a rag doll that she and her childhood friend made together. Her childhood friend, Naomi, sees this picture, which prompted her to contact Lacey. Naomi informs her that she is getting married, and she wants Lacey, her oldest friend, to be her maid of honor, which Lacey delightedly accepts. Naomi has a rating of 4.8, and has many upper-class friends and lives on an exclusive and idealistic island. Lacey believes if she nails a perfect maid of honor speech, she will be flooded with enough 5-star ratings, to pull her approval up to the 4.5 she needs. Her brother finds it strange that Naomi is asking Lacey as her maid of honor, when their relationship was not that great in the past. Lacey insists that Naomi is her friend, and that her being the maid of honor would definitely raise her overall rating. Because of this, Lacey prepares for her speech at the upcoming wedding, even practicing one last time before leaving for the wedding. Her brother stops her, wanting her to think about this obsession with ratings, but Lacey already made up her mind. This leads to an argument between them, ending in giving each other a low rating. On the way to the airport, Lacey receives low ratings from two incidents, dropping her rating from 4.2 to 4.1. First, she accidentally bumps into a woman holding a cup of coffee, spilling her coffee, and second, the taxi driver gives her a low rating for being so loud while talking in the phone. What is worse however, is that her original flight has been cancelled, and she needs 4.2 rating to get a seat on another. She insists on taking the seat, causing a scene that results in her overall rating going down. As a precautionary measure, the airport security guard turns her overall rating to 3, which would last for 24 hours. Additionally, she also receives, as punishment, a devastating double damage effect on her rating, which means that all down votes will incur a double multiplier. Because she is going to be late to the wedding, she decides to rent a car. However, she has a low rating and cannot avail of a higher quality car, so she has no other choice, but to rent a car of a much older model. 
While driving, she practices her speech as the maid of honor, but her trip is cut short when the car needs to be charged. She learns that the car, being an old model, needs an adapter to charge. Because she cannot charge it, she leaves it, deciding instead to walk and hitchhike. Because she has a low rating of 2.8, cars avoid her, but eventually, a truck stops by and offers to help. At first, Lacey is hesitant, seeing that the driver has a low rating, but she agrees later on. While driving, the truck driver, an older woman, asks Lacey where she was going and why she was going there. Lacey tells her that she is the maid of honor in an exclusive wedding. The truck driver tells her that she was once like her, she had an overall rating of 4.6, and she was always aiming to receive a high rating in the belief that it will lead to a good life. However, her husband got cancer, and she did everything for her husband, even taking him to an exclusive hospital, but he was rejected because his rating was deemed not high enough. After her husband died, she decided to become honest with everything, learning in the process that her so-called friends did not like her honesty that much, so she ended up having a low rating. However, she says she feels much freer without obsessing over ratings. Lacey replies that unlike the old woman who got nothing to lose, she still got something to live for. The trip takes all night, and in the morning, Lacey is awakened by the truck driver, telling her that they must part ways because she is heading in another direction. As a parting gift, the truck driver informs Lacey that she placed alcohol in her bag. Then Lacey goes to a nearby toilet and practices her speech again. She overhears two women talking about a convention. To Lacey's surprise, the convention is near the wedding reception. After pretending that she is heading to the same convention, she takes a ride with some cosplayers in a van. Soon after, Naomi contacts her again, telling Lacey not to go to the wedding anymore. She has heard that her overall rating had gone down to two, and that she cannot have someone like that at her wedding. The only reason she invited Lacey was that it would add her ratings exponentially. Lacey, surprised and heartbroken by this, learns that she is just a number to Naomi. Likewise, Naomi responds that she knew Lacey's intention all along, and that is just to accumulate high ratings in the wedding. In actuality, both of them never saw each other as a friend, but rather as a tool to gain higher ratings. However, despite this, Lacey still wants to go to the wedding and deliver her speech, to which Naomi responds with a stern no. This doesn't stop Lacey, she decides to trespass and crash the wedding reception. The cosplayers left her behind after she tells them that she doesn't know about the convention at all. She drinks the alcohol that the truck driver gave her and stops a few cars, but eventually, she sees a four-wheeler bike and borrows it. She finally reached the reception by sneaking at the back, but not before falling into a swamp and getting dirty. After dressing up, Lacey, all dirty and drunk, delivers her speech to the audience, who in response, all gave her a rating of one. She reveals that she wants to be like Naomi, someone beautiful, with high ratings, a good circle of friends, and a good life. She is forcefully removed from the reception and is afterwards put in jail. The technology in her eyes is removed, and, for the first time, she sees the world without any rating of any kind. In the adjacent cell, a man is looking at her. Lacey tries to check his information out of habit, but of course, she sees nothing as the technology has been removed from her. The man insults her, and Lacey replies with an insult as well. Without any fear of rating, they insult each other to their heart's content. The episode ends with both of them shouting at each other, their anger and frustration eventually turning to happiness at this newfound freedom. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.